now. So uh, the water is being collected, already collected in that. It will come back and then we, we will sub-sample the water from these bottles and do the laboratory measurement. You can see those bottles, whatever is clear, closed, they are containing water. So this is 5 minute, 5 meter depth and the lab is just uh, at that yes, at the back. Total water depth is 25 meters. No, the, the, the water that has the sample that has been taken is 5 meter at 5 meter depth. Okay, yes, 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 yes. So the, and now it will be measured. Uh, All the parameters will be measured. And the parameters are? Like uh, initially they will measure oxygen and then they will measure all the nutrients, nitrate, uh, phosphate, silicate. And uh, then uh, it will be used for various other measurements like trace metals and all those things. Uh, what about if uh, a carbon, uh, uh, to reduce the carbon dioxide, what could be the way that ocean could play there? See, ocean uh, has a huge role in uh, controlling the carbon dioxide as I was explaining in the beginning. It acts as a carbon pump. It converts atmospheric CO2 to the organic CO2, uh, like product, biological productivity. And for biological productivity, they, uh, uh, you need uh, uh, nutrients, nitrate, phosphate and silicate. It is already there in the ocean. In addition to that, you need uh, uh, iron, micronutrient. And we have, our study has shown that the Arabian Sea in many parts iron is deficient. So if you put a lot of iron in the ocean artificially, then productivity will increase and CO2 will be removed from the atmosphere and your global warming can be taken care of very significantly. Uh, sir, sir, Mr. Sarina, Mr. Singh, you also talked about uh, the whole water of the whole ocean world, whole of earth circulates for every 1000 years. Yes, so as I was telling you, the ocean uh, circulation, the global conveyor belt which we call it, the deep ocean, deep ocean is for, deep water is forming at the uh, North Atlantic and uh, Antarctic, so that water goes down and then comes back in the equatorial Indian Ocean and on the Pacific and it will go back, so it, in that process, it, all process takes 1000 years and uh, there, uh, it, 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 it uh, not only circulates water but uh, it transports heat from equatorial to the polar region, it circulates oxygen, it circulates uh, nutrient, transport nutrients from one basin to another, which is very much required for the healthier uh, of this ocean and for a lot of productivity in the ocean. And it is also required uh, healthier for the human existence. Oh. This whole process must continue. Yes, yes, because you see, uh, ocean circulation ensures that temperature is getting distributed, oxygen is getting distributed, productivity increase. So productivity, you know that it is controlling the CO2 and also it is controlling the oxygen level. So to maintain this high oxygen and CO2, reduce the CO2, this ocean circulation is very, very required. Yeah, so now they will be putting this planktonic net. The planktonic net will collect um, uh, or the biological material like different kind of plankton and all, two plankton. And you can you can see that in the, in the, in the, this whole biological cycle, the, uh, as I told you, the initial particles are the micro phytoplankton that will be kind of converted, taken, eaten by the two plankton and two plankton will be eaten by this. So the whole cycle will be completed and the part of the CO2 will be going to the atmosphere. So they will demonstrate what type of material is there, what type of biology is growing in this part of the ocean. So they will collect that and we can see in the micro microscope what type of biology is growing. This is the mothership where the experiment of ocean for India and the indigenous experiment of ocean in India is happening. Can you tell a little bit about the make of the ship? Yeah, the ship, uh, this is, uh, we are very proud that this ship, uh, Sindhu Sadhana, has been built here within India. I think first time that the ocean research vessel was built in the, within India and uh, this was very, very cost effective because it was built in India and we are very proud that we are using this since 2013 till now and it, it is serving the purpose we can go to the open ocean we can do the go to the coastal ocean all sorts of ocean graph we are able to do uh, and it is 100 percent built in india this year 7500 miles of coast of india and 200 nautical miles is where indian territory in ocean uh, exist the opportunity is immense Yes, yes, sir. as we are discussing, actually not only EG, but entire Indian Ocean with 17,000 million square kilometer is uh, area of Indian Ocean we have to study. Because you know the Pacific and Atlantic is well studied by the Europeans and uh, Americans, whereas Indian Ocean still it, it is uh, known 
that is the least studied ocean in the globe. So that that tag has to go. That Indian Ocean has to be studied to understand the whole oceanographic process because it impacts our monsoon. It in the impacts the temperature. It impacts the climate. So unless we understand the whole oceanography, it is not possible at all. So Indian Ocean study is very very much required. We can say the other way. It is pristine and it is yet to be explored and yet to be mined and yet to be understood. The Indian Ocean, the 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 surf of the ocean, the undercurrent of the ocean, and the mineral and material that is inside the ocean. And your organization, tell us about the organization uh, and the and the experiment that is uh, happening over the years here. If you can tell in the summary. Yes, yes. Actually, uh, you have rightly said that uh, this is still pristine, but uh, pristine. We cannot keep it pristine for long time for measurement purpose because we need to understand. We need to have data from the Indian Ocean. Unless otherwise, all the global experiment will fail if we don't have any data from Indian Ocean. For that purpose, the study is very much required. Our National Institute of Oceanography is working on this for, since last uh, several years, and we are working. Means uh, this institute was established in 1966. Since then, we are working different aspect. Uh, the, all the all the aspect of uh, oceanography, geology, biology, uh, chemistry, everything is covered. Also, uh, in ocean engineering is covered, and we are working from. Uh, Coastal to deep ocean, all the capability we have to do it, and we are the first to start the polymetallic mineral study, gas identity study, and the resource point of view, basic science point of view, everywhere we are working in this area. Whole of ocean of Indian ocean region is covered. Indian borders are covered, whether it is Bhubaneswar or uh, uh, Tamil Nadu or here in Goa and yes. Mumbai. Yes, so it's not only the. Coastal ocean because coastal ocean is very important for our well-being. A lot of establishment is happening, so to take care of all the uh, the development which is happening, we uh, we are working in that uh, direction. But in addition to that, we have to take care of the vast open ocean which is controlling the entire globe. And there also uh, we are working very hard, and we are going up to 40 degrees south, 50 degrees south to study different part of the ocean of the biology, chemistry, and geology. Uh, Mr. Singh, your and your team is doing a nation's great omen job for the nation. All the best in the experiments that you do and the research that you find out for the economic upliftment of India. The blue ocean is not only for fish. The blue ocean is the mineral rich, and it is the place where uh, energy could be extracted. We have seen that, and the new experiments of uh, that could be a game changer for India and energy uh, supplement. Uh, and the energy boost that India can get. Yes, sir, rightly said. I think we have to go in all the direction. Thank you very much for covering.